Lesson 2.5, Compare by Counting Sets to 5. In this lesson, we count objects and compare numbers. We use counting order to compare numbers. When we compare, we tell how things are alike and different. We can count the objects in each set to see whether the number of objects in one set is greater than, less than, or the same number as the number in another set. We can mark the objects as we count them. That way we won't accidentally count them again. Here we have one, two, three, four. We can write the number four. Here we have one, two. We can write the number two. Four is greater than two and two is less than four. We can use our fingers to count objects. We can use our fingers to help us count and show how many are in a set. When we count the cats, we count one, two. We hold up two fingers. We count the dogs, well, there's only one dog, we hold up one finger. And two is greater than one. We're holding up more fingers for two. One is less than two. We're holding up fewer fingers. Here we need to count, write the number, and then circle the number that is greater. Let's count the sheep. I count one, two, three, four, Five. We can write the number five. We come down and around and we put on the top. Here we have one, two, three pigs. We can write the number three. Now we're supposed to circle the number that is greater. Five is greater than three. There's more fingers being held up than there are for the three. This is five fingers. This is three fingers. We have more fingers. Five is the greater number. We also know that five is the greater number because it comes later in counting order. When we write one, two, three, four, five. Here's the three. Five comes later in counting order. It's the greater number. Here we need to count, write the number, and circle the number that is less. We can count how many foxes there are. I count one, two, three, four, five. We can write the number five. Here, I can count the teddy bears. There are one, two, three, four. Four, we hold up less fingers. There's also less teddy bears than there are foxes. The number that is less is four. And in counting order, the number that is less comes first. We write one, two, three, four, five. Four comes first, then comes five. So four is less than five. Here we have a problem and we have some people. We have Sam, Meg, and Tala. Sam found five acorns, Meg found three acorns, and Tala found one less than Sam. How many acorns did Tala find? Well, first, we need to figure out which numbers we need to solve the problem. Sam found five. We can draw five counters. One, two, three, four, five. And it did tell us that Meg found three, 
and it said Tala found one less than Sam, and we need to know how many Tala found. So is Meg's number important? Meg's number is extra information we don't need. We need Sam's number, and then to find Tala's number, we need to take Sam's number and find one less. So if we take away one of the counters, we'll know Tala's number. It was one less than Sam. Tala must be one, two, three, four. One less than five is four. We know Tala found four acorns. Sometimes in problems, there will be information that is extra that we don't need. We didn't need to know how many Meg had. It wasn't asking about Meg or telling us to find anything about Meg. It told us that Tala found one less than Sam. How many did Tala have? We took one away from what Sam found, and we found Tala had four. So as you're comparing sets in your counting, remember you can mark each object so that you know you've counted it one time. You don't want to accidentally count it again. And we can write numbers in counting order so we can check to see which number comes first or later to know if it's less than or greater than. In our next lesson, we're going to be moving to Chapter 3, where we learn to represent, count, and write numbers 6 to 9. I hope you'll join me. I hope you're doing well. Bye.